Kenny, big news this week. Um, obviously, Martin's announced that he's, he's leaving at the end of the season. Um, where does this uh, leave yourself? Uh, well, obviously, I've got the opportunity to come in and, uh, and work with Martin over the last four or five months now. and I've got a really, really good feel for the place. A lot of things uh, we've been working on in the background at the moment don't change until told otherwise. So, uh, you know, listen, we, we're preparing on these last three games. It's really important, I feel, that we finish strong. Uh, it's been a largely disappointing season, obviously, the fact that we now can't make the playoffs with three games to go. Uh, and at the start, you're looking to win a league, not just make the playoffs, but then the goals quickly change and then we've just fell short. So, but it's really important that we attack these next three games uh, in a positive manner and we finish off the season strongly looking to win the three games, you know. So, it would be something we've not done since we came in, which was win two games in a row, never mind three. So, that's the, that's the goal, short term, long term, we'll... we'll see what happens in, in the next few weeks. And given the, the disappointment on missing out on the playoffs, is it, is it hard to then kind of motivate the, the players to put in those performances in the last few games of the season or is it a case of making sure that the teams behind don't have a chance to catch up? No, again, it's, it's, it's not even about that now. It's, a, it's about our performances and our, our results. You know, we need to perform well. I felt, I felt for large spells we played pretty well last week uh, and the Achilles heel for probably the most part has been kind of defending little situation, we've lost too many goals, I think that's a fact. Over the course of the season we've lost way too many goals, but there was a lot of positives last week. So we're looking to build on that and then correct uh, the things that weren't, uh, that need to be improved. So, it's, uh, yeah, it's uh, still, for me, it's, it's a game, it's a game we want to win. The lads in there are a professional group of players, they've got pride in, in their work uh, and we'll see that in the, in the next three performances. And Martin said that you're going to be taking over um, for that period of time. Is that a chance for you to, to kind of take the take charge, take the lead for maybe where you want to be in the future in terms of managing? Absolutely. Uh, it's something obviously Martin's kind of discussed it with me over the last couple of weeks and there's a reason I, I, I agreed to come in and help him. I felt there's so much potential in this football club. There's It's in a position where it shouldn't be uh, and I feel I could I could help build the club back to where it belongs, you know. So it's it's an opportunity to show uh, the, the people that matter that I'm, I'm capable of doing that. Obviously, Martin will still be here to help out and, and it'll be about with a, to be a sounding board in the last few weeks. But it's, it is, it's a real good opportunity. It's one that I'm really thriving on. You know, it's a, it's a brilliant opportunity to, to, to take over in these three games, albeit, I mean, I don't like the term meaningless games because every game's got a meaning. You know, there's three points to be played for. There's a, like I say, there's a, there's a professional pride in what you do. So uh, it's an opportunity to go and show that. Uh, like I said, it's a good group of players, you know, and we just want them to show how how good they are. I mean, how what we see Monday to Friday is what we want them to play with that little bit more freedom, which I think we've seen little bits of that last week. But uh, there's three games to win. We want to finish off strong, and then in the summer they can go off and enjoy their holiday, and we'll see what happens there. And East Fife on Saturday, um, we played well against East Fife uh, in the in the games we played against them already this season. Um, good chance to go up there, get three points. Um, and are you approaching this game just in the same way you would approach any other? Of course. I mean, we've, as much as we have had good results against them and, and some good performances, it was a hard-fought game here at the, at the, at the last time. Obviously, it took us late uh, to, to get the job done. Uh, we went there on our first game that got abandoned. I felt we were pretty comfortable within that game and there was a lot of good stuff. And then, uh, obviously, the 2-0 win there as well was, it was, it wasn't was easy. Of course, it took us to the second half to get a couple of goals for Young Jays. But it was uh, good performances. So, again, we'll be looking at those and, and looking what we've done well in there and, and, and what we can do better uh, moving into this game. But, it's uh, yep, that's what the main focus is on. It'll be preparations as normal. The, the week's been pretty similar. Uh, and, and tomorrow will be no be any different and hopefully the lads can turn up and, and give a performance and get the three points. And just finally, um, Martin took us through some of the, the injury problems um, after the game last Saturday. Can you give us any, any update on, on the fitness level of the squads and who's available? I think it's much, as much as we were, to be honest. I think uh, Paul's obviously long term. Uh, Anton's just getting back there, but this will probably be a little bit too soon for him. Uh, but it's good to see him back on the training field. Obviously, we've missed him in the, in the time he's been away. Not just his, his performances and, and as, a player, as a person and about the group. It's always uh, nice to have guys like that coming back into the equation. Uh, Brad's still out as well. So Jay's out as well. Again, we don't know it's, what the extent of his injury is as yet, but he'll be out for the weekend. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're down to the bare bones a little bit, to be honest with you. But sometimes that brings groups together. A smaller group kind of brings you together. There's, there's three points to win. 
and uh, there's a performance to give and like I said there's a lot to build on for last week and I felt the lads despite it really disappointed in the result actually maybe enjoyed some of the game last week because we did play some really really good stuff I thought Paul Dixon was excellent in, the, in that role which might be a, kind of a bit foreign to him but midly a back three I thought he was, he was really really good and within that performance last week there was a lot of individual performances that were pretty positive so it's, imp it's important we, we do that again uh, improve on it and we correct the things that have, have been that, that, that need to be improved which we've been looking at that for the last kind of few months and it's it's just building towards these last the end of the season now and it's it's sometimes a tough moment because there's there's the it's pretty much defined where you're going to be so it's important that we still go and fight we fight hard we, we work hard again that's all I could ever ask of the, of the lads is to go and give everything they've got and then I think that'll be enough to with the quality we've got in the dressing room that, that'll be enough for us to get some positive results at the end of the season.